Top 5 Paddling Exercises with Surf Strength and Conditioning This video will show you 5 ways you can significantly improve your paddling by improving your upper spine and shoulder mobility, scapular control and pulling strength. The first one is a shoulder clock. The shoulder clock targets multiple angles of shoulder mobility and upper spine rotation. You can start with body weight alone and progress to holding 1 to 2 kilograms. The weight helps to mobilise as well as lightly strengthen the moving shoulder by challenging your shoulder stabilisers from multiple angles. Elevating your body so that your arm drapes over the side will increase the mobility and stability demands. Take one slow full inhalation to bring your arm out to the side and then exhale to return to the start. Complete 5 to 10 repetitions per side. Prone overhead shoulder hovers. These hovers target strength with your shoulder in flexion and external rotation. This is essentially strength with your arms overhead and with your palms turned upward, as if you are trying to hold water in the palms of your hands. Longtime surfers get super strong in their downward pulling strength and internal rotation strength. Therefore, they need the opposing movements to balance their shoulder muscles. You can progress this by holding a one to two kilogram weight in each hand, although body weight is typically challenging enough. Shoulder hanging for shoulder mobility and scapular control. If you haven't done any hanging since you were a kid, you may find it difficult to hold your body weight at first, which can be a combination of inadequate shoulder range of motion, poor grip strength and weak shoulders. Use your feet on the ground to partially hold your body weight until you are ready to lift them off the ground. Start with double arm hanging and then work up to single arm. Achievable goals are 60 second holds for double arm and 15 to 20 second holds for single arm. Shoulder shrugs five ways for shoulder blade mobility and control. Complete 10 repetitions per position. The first position is on your hands and knees. Aim to keep your head in line with your spine, your abs lifted and your glutes strong. Move your shoulders only, bringing them together and pushing them apart. Keep the rest of your body completely still. Second position is the cobra. Focus on purely moving your shoulders down and up. If your lower back feels compromised in this position, you can also use parallettes or have your hands on two boxes as shown in the second version. The third position is inverted. Aim to have most of your body weight over your hands and shoulders. Focus on purely moving your shoulders up and down and keeping the rest of your body completely still. Fourth position is in crab. Extend your hips up, keep your lower back flat and lift your chest. Focus on pulling your shoulder blades together and then slowly relaxing them forward without moving any other part of your body. And remember to keep your hips up. Fifth position is hanging, which is a progression of the previous static hanging exercise. Squeeze your glutes to keep your lower back flat. Keep your ribs held down and focus purely on pulling your shoulders down and relaxing them up. Pull-ups for pulling strength and power. If you need help with these, use a thick elastic or power band under your feet. Keep your shoulders down your chest open, shoulders back, and your lower back flat as you pull. You can progress to thinner bands, to body weight, and then to weighted pull-ups. For more surf training, head to surfstrengthconditioning.com.